<laughs> We're going to one HP. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, yep. We're at one. And we're gonna really just bury him in a minus 77. Get wrecked, Corleone! I am the winner. Hello, everyone. Jeff here. And today we're gonna be playing Lone Star, or more specifically, the demo of Lone Star that was coming out um, sometime in the near-ish future. Uh, this is what I would describe as a engine building slash deck building turn-based strategy game roguelike it's kind of interesting to like put it, it's hard to nail down what exactly it is but you'll see very quickly so first things first we are a bounty hunter we are hunting criminals across the galaxy we are in space uh we choose the ship uh our choices are this ship and this ship alone for the moment the ship has this many spaces. Uh, what we're going to be doing is filling up the spaces on our ship. There are nine with different uh, cores or devices or what have you. Just basically just different units, right? And we're going to be slotting energy points into those units to activate them. And we're going to have a randomized sort of energy. There's like three different kinds. There's white blue and red uh and that's going to cause different effects in addition to that um when you start the game on your first run you only have one character to pick from following that um assuming you unlock some characters i, I assume you have to unlock three for this to open up uh you're gonna get this section where you get to re-roll where you get to choose from three different characters they have their inherent talents and then they're going to get random talents. I haven't unlocked that yet because I've only done one full run, but um, we'll see. So uh, this character is a Trent. She is a tree person. Um, her ability at the start of the battle, the attack unit in the spaceship center, which I assume would be here, gains three power, which seems really, really good. Um, now, it's not... Um, like each thing put into it. It's basically means it would just give um, plus three to attack anytime that thing is activated. This one's at the start of battle for every five treasures. Treasures are basically relics. Think Slay the Spire. You get an extra energy. Energy is kind of like mana. It's really weird. And then for every 25 star coins, star coins is gold, money, whatever you want to call it, kill. You can choose uh, different builds call for support which is a whole nother we're not even gonna jump into that i'm just gonna take this one because it's the simplest to explain and then we are going to set sail into the universe and i will explain um basically what was missed in the what you won't see in the tutorial okay so close your eyes and meditate open the gateway to your soul something something it went away so you're basically seeing this is what you're fighting against this is your reward this is what they're going to have on their ship that's like noticeable basically means that on after two turns he's his weapons are going to gain six strength and then this one's gaining 11 so there's like a we have to beat him for a certain amount of time this is our deck down here um this is the different colors of energy we have three white two blue one orange and then the values and these are all randomized so you'll see when we start here um that we get so we got like a these could be any number from one through five and any color and this is just the way we got them so now what we're gonna do is arrange this in a way oh it's nice this put us in the spot that we would want it um so yeah like this device which after loading an energy we can generate another energy that is one point higher than the loaded one and so our whole goal here is to defeat this guy by dealing damage from this. So what we're going to do is put this in here. Let's give us bigger energy. Put this in here. Bigger energy. Um, this, when loading two energy of the same point, gives extra strength. That doesn't matter here. Um, the way it works is it goes orange, blue, white. So you can put orange and blue things in a white slot, but you can't put white things in a blue or orange slot and so on, if that makes sense. 
and he has moved up so that takes fuel we're gonna also move up so i can actually just like kind of go ham on him here and actually i'm gonna save the other one and then you have the durability meter if you win a lane or you win like a a duel here then you will knock out one durability for the enemy. If you break the durability, they lose a turn. So we see that he's shooting here and here. So what we want to do is move up. This does cost fuel, but we're going to get some fuel back. We only have three fuel, which kind of sucks, but that's OK. So we know here this kills him. We can like put in extra, but it doesn't make a difference. And you have this cool beam battle thing that happens, right? So this first fight is easy, whatever. You know the drill. So we get one fuel back, we get three coins, and we get a unit to obtain. Um, So this does what? Gain one strength, overclock three. When loading energy, if there are any points, energy points is greater than threshold, its effect is triggered. So if we put in greater than three, we get one strength. Putting greater than five, it gains another strength. That seems okay. When generating orange energy within a turn, gain one strength. This is kind of interesting because this generates energy. So you can like do some things with that. I think we actually probably want to do something like. Nah, this is fine. Do it like this. And then in between those, you have vacation days. So we could go for fuel or we just go for an unknown. I'm going to go for unknown, um, which seems to be fine. Well, now we could either get four coins, four HP and one fuel, or we could get. Um, whoo, <laughs> or you get this energy booster, which seems kind of nice because we have space. So we have six weight right now. We will get weight as we beat certain enemies. Um, this thing is going to go crazy. And we have to end our vacation because we don't so only have so much time. This guy has nothing special going on, as we didn't see that before. And we're fighting the Broken Fang. So he's got like a seven and two. So now we have to match that. So for example, we're going to put this in here. We generated one. So now we have one going down here. Generate one here. What we can do is pair these up. <laughs> We're hitting for um, murder, uh, murder levels of damage because we got all the bonuses from that. And yeah, that's kind of how it goes. And then you just end up making a cool ship and some of the enemies get crazy. All nearby attack units gain one power. That's not bad. After loading an energy, generate one three point orange energy. That's pretty good. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that yet. Uh, I'm going to go to unit. It's going to take a rare unit. Triangular core, try power. After loading a total of three energy, its effect is triggered. Um, how do you load three? It only has two energy slots. Does it mean total? Interesting. I'm going to I'm going to put this up here just so I can see how it works. Oh, we have two more vacation days. That's crazy. I'm gonna get some star coins. Well, that was. Oh, we can keep going. Yeah, I'll take a little bit of damage. For some money. All right, now this guy. Um... Yeah, whatever. He doesn't really do much. So this is like the elite. It goes common, common, elite, and then boss. So let's see how this goes. We're going to put this here. We're going to generate a thing there. 
I'm going to completely blow up the middle. I see. I see. So... This counts between turns, I'm guessing. So we're going to take some damage here, but that's all right. But he's going to get paralyzed also, so that's fine. And then we get to our next turn. You get one extra car, uh, one extra thing at the start of your turn. Um, this is not particularly exciting. Yeah. Not terrible. You also keep your things between turns, so it probably would have been better there to save, but. Oh, look, he's actually defeating us right now. But yeah, I really enjoy this game. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, we can pull down here. He's dead, but we're taking a bunch. What if we go down? Now he's dead and we're taking nothing. That seems better. So we're like on a grid. This so it's like a combination of like a lot of different games going on here. Now we get a treasure. When your shield reaches zero, generate an energy. Okay. Um Piggy Bank, this is very similar to Slay the Spire. Um when you know you get coins, you get more, but once you spend some, you lose some. We already have 30. I think I'm just gonna take the emergency generator. It's not amazing. But now we get to up our weight limit, which is good. And we're gonna, we have five vacation days, so we're going to go to a blue thing. I'm going to take eight star coins, and then we're going to go to this shop. And we're not going to use HP as currency, no. Okay, now we have some big choices. We can... For every 30 energy generated, additionally generate one orange nine point energy. That's a big deal. Damage taken equals damage taken equals to less than four during the showdown will be reduced to one. Not bad. Gain of fuel is fine. And there's some interesting things here. We're going to take this for sure. Oh, wait, we have some type of like insane combo going on, right? If we can get it going. Because this is after loading an energy, generate another energy that is one point lower. Than the loaded one. And the attack unit behind. So. That plus. That would lead to some shenanigans. For sure. Is there anything better than that here? She's taunting me because I'm taking too long. Um, the initiate stuff basically just um, it's a cooldown. I'm going to take this this thing and see if maybe we can do something. I think what I'm going to do is sell this, put this here, and I think I'm going to put this here. It's kind of a weird setup we have going on right now. We may even want to do this and just move to the up. I don't know how I feel about not having anything at the top right now, but it is what it is. This guy's hard. It's the first boss. He's not particularly easy. But I think it's what we must do. We didn't roll any oranges. That's not good. So we do here. Well, I guess it's a good dude. It's a good thing that we put these things together. Because I think we can actually battle him here. 
if we wanted to. Um. Yes, yes. Right. Right. And then... Wait. Wait, what am I doing? I've lost the narrative. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hold this one. We're we're already winning this, this fight. <laughs> I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay, we've got seven ticks on this, so that's good. So he's gonna do 15 again. And then he's gonna switch to one where he hits us with a bunch of stuff. Alright, now... We're going to go here, here. Yes, good, good, here. Um, here, what? Oh, no, no, it has to be orange, right? Um, here 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 oh my god we're I, I'm cracked uh like so send him to hell oh yeah yeah get absolutely destroyed moon shadow this is crazy now he's activated but it's okay so again we're going crazy in the combos here so we go here into here. Here goes to this and this and this and this and we hit him for a good 26. He's down to 10 HP. Yes, yes. All right, we've got an actual battle now. He's killing us. That's nice. Um we're going to generate a three pointer. Oh, I should have done I should have done this one first. That was a mistake. That's fine. That's actually fine. We're going to do that. Convert. Down. Oh, we got our nine. We got our niner. OK, well. That's good. We are taking six and there's nothing we can really do about that. But that's okay, because I think he's gonna... He's gonna be dead. Um, yeah, he's dead. He's, like, super dead. The energy point cannot exceed 9. We're, like, super overkill right now. We do take some damage, but it's okay, because after you kill a boss, you get a full heal. And fuel treasure at the end of a showdown which is when you have the beam clash change the energy with the highest points in your hand to orange that means you have to hold energy the first time an attacking it gains power it gains an extra one power okay choose a unit legendary support after loading an energy self-destructs and doubles the power of the attack unit behind self-destructs after loading an energy self-destructs and doubles the power of the attack unit behind i don't know how i feel about that versus oh that's right you can also upgrade and modify your units um so this is an upgrade device plus so all your units that start a battle are upgraded kind of a big deal we're going to take that. I'm going to go to this legendary vacation spot. Am I? No, I'm going to go to modification. Allow it to own one power during battles? I don't know what that means. During a thrilling ship racing event, a ship named Flower leaves a lasting impression on you. This ship 
Equipped with four engines larger than rocket boosters, is piloted by diminutive beastkin mechanic named Tiger, who is shorter than one meter. What? <laughs> oh, one meter. Damn American system. You have a pleasant conversation with him, and he offers to modify an attack unit for you at a discounted price. Choose one attack unit. Um... Own one power in battle. Does that just mean it starts with one power? I think that means it just starts with one power. After a series of clanking noises, your unit emits a strong surge of power. A real man should give it his all in a single strike. He exclaims, clenching his fist the size of a green bean in front of you. Somewhat resignedly, you thank him and bid farewell. Okay, well, let's go get a treasure. Lose three fuel, get metal coating. Ooh. Lose two fuel. At start of your turn, if your HP is less than 10, no. Lose one fuel to start a battle, get one additional energy. Oh, I like having a good starting turn. Metal coating's really good, but I like I like this. Okay. Um, I'm not going to upgrade anything. We've got like good stuff going on here. We have now upgraded to a two star hunter. Let's go. I've already reached out to the devs for this game after I played the first time, and I think they're going to hit me up for a key. Um, once uh, the game is near when the enemy loads energy, this unit can also load the same energy. He's probably going to spread out. I think I probably want to split my uh, split my load here. Three and three, and we have all of this now. So let's go. Let's go down one up to three. Up to two. Down one. Up to three. Up to four. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the way. And then we're going to just throw a couple things on this. Yeah. OK. Good fight. Um, oh, I guess we probably could have killed with this one. Also, this sim that warning symbol means that the next turn he's going to do something bad. So down, up, 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 uh, put these in here. We're taking five here. I don't like that. Can I just move up? Yeah, that seems better. We'll just have one less fuel next. Next fight, whatever. OK, um, single use electric art. I'm really not into the whole single use electric art thing. Pure white core is pretty decent, honestly. It's not a plus, though. I'm going to take this in the chance that maybe we sell it for something. Modification. I'm just going to go unknown. I don't want to upgrade the single use electric art unless it does something significantly different no uh, energy booster plus grants the unit in front of it three extra strength that's pretty good oh i can do this with with commons I mean, with not orange things, that seems really good. Yeah, it's not you don't always just want to upgrade your like highest rarity stuff, which is pretty cool. All right, this guy has a defense thing that just makes it so that like spot is protected. Um. Oh, but I think when it breaks, it also does something. So I'm going to leave the ship the way it is. 
Oh, no, I was supposed to. Yeah, I was supposed to line it all up on here. Oh, well, whatever. Um, Down one, down one. 3 point orange 3 point orange 6 point blue 4 point blue we're going we're going crazy right now um this into this into this um get wrecked Yeah, my guy. I, I don't even. I, I don't even think it matters. Going absolutely nuts here. Uh, um, we don't really have like the craziest looks for this one. I think we just jam this and this and then we're just like kind of content and he's paralyzed so he's just gonna lose in this this next four or this next whatever um because i'm just gonna do this and this and goodbye goodbye sidewall goodbye it was nice knowing you coins fuel unit um try power gain seven strength that's funny um, I'll take that one. Sure. Probably not gonna use either. Five vacation days. Well, let's hit the unknown one first. Repeatable, you say? Lose two max HP, gain one sealed point. Okay. Well, that was less than exciting. I'm gonna go to the star coins. I do not want to lose that. I'm gonna just get some star coins that was kind of a weak shop there now we have the fantastic um elite saint nilla daring shockwave slow down deal damage equal the ship's current dur durability oh, that's right we gotta break the durability on this one as fast as you can that's what this guy is because he just does damage to you back there's nothing you can really do about it so we go here we go here this 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 um this 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 notice he also has like a bajillion life this and this so then we're gonna take five that's just how it is um we have to follow him up so we can do more damage to his stuff down, down, up. Um. Yes, yes. Give it the gentle taps. Um. We'll put that in there. That's fine. We hold on to these two. Durable missiles. I don't know what he just said, but I don't think it really matters because I think he's about to die. Um, down, down. Now we'll do our upgrade thing here and our upgrade thing here and this. And then I'm going to put you and you together. And then I'm going to put this in here and this is going to go here and this is going to go here. And then this is going to go here and you're done. -zo. Today is the day of suffering. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much for you. For each newly gained unit, increase your max HP by one. That's not bad. And then what we can do is at the start of battle, upgrade all units. And you can also look at what your upgraded units are by clicking at the little thing over here. Well, you're supposed to be able to, maybe not on the screen. Let's go to this legendary vacation spot. Upgrade units. Choose three non-upgraded units. You know... We literally just put this on our ship. Like... 
literally... Like, just, just now. It doesn't, it doesn't go up anymore. I, I know, I already, I already did it. Um... Maybe we just upgrade this one? I don't know. That kind of sucked. Modification? Alright, we can lose four coins to select a unit and degrade, which means lower the uh, advanced color slot by one level. So, like, this orange could go to a blue. Which is pretty good, because we could make this turn... Um... Hmm. We could make that turn oranges, turn blues into oranges. That's okay. That seems like a good, good strategy. This guy's after two turns, switch, hibernate, charge. I think we want the split set up here probably is better we'll see he's got some damage coming for us yeah it looks like look at that we're, we're dying all right so everything's upgraded oh it generates a four point now that's pretty good and this generates that's the same all right so this and this it's pretty obvious and then what do we want to do? We want to go here. And then I think what I want to do is put this here. Put that there. Put that there. This goes here. This goes here. This goes here, this goes here, this goes here. It's a close one, but it's not the end. We won two lanes. We did blow a lot of stuff, but oh no. That doesn't look so good. This doesn't look so good either. Okay, down. Oh, well, we got our nine, so that's a big deal. We're going to move up. And then we're going to throw this at it. And then... That. Yeah, that's pretty decent. <laughs> that, that's a pretty good turn. Considering we started with literally nothing. Now he's convert converting to a much more balanced approach which is fine by me. Um, I'm just going to do this and this. And then we're going to... Do we care about this stuff? Let's do... We can convert this to a four. We can convert... This to a four. We can convert this to a five. Convert this to a five. We can go here, and then here, and then here for big numbers. Now he's paralyzed and we win next round. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Love it. We have built a monster. He's paralyzed, so uh, it's just all fun games right now. Oh, it has to be at least blue, right? So I'm just going to throw uh, you guys in there. And Dunzo! Goodbye, Cabby! Welcome to the real world. Restore treasure. Upon generating white energy... Uh, we don't really generate white energy, although... After a slot is loaded with energy, its color will degrade.
Where do we generate white energy? Just from this, right? Let's take pallet. That makes better. Later units better. Maybe we should have seen what unit we got reading first. At the start of battle, the unit in front gains one additional orange slot and one additional blue. That's not nothing. Uh, we're going to take that. A legendary star coin spot. Yeah. yeah that's fine. Gain 25 are double the amount of star coins. Sure. Treasure. I will lose two max HP. Weakness analysis glasses reduce enemies durability by one at the start. That's pretty good. And we've got a lot of treasure going into it. So this is the last uh, area here going into the next galaxy as a three star hunter. There's currently three areas, so we got to fight this energy ring guy. Um, basically, we just have to defeat him before he defeats us. He is called One Punch. Tomozo, One Punch. Uh, I think he lost already. Just looking at this. Um, it does kind of feel that way. Because, like, this is about to happen, and then this is about to happen. And I could load something else in here, but I'm just going to save these for the next shot. And that did 40. He's only doing one. Yeah, buddy, I think you're... I think you're kind of toasted right now. Because this is going to go here. This is here. This goes in. This goes in. Um, I'm just going to throw that in here and throw this in here and you're dead. Dead. Um, wow, I haven't started yet. Yeah, well, I did. We can get a unit. Overclock. Generate two energy at the start of the next turn. Hoo hoo hoo. I feel like you do something with this. Shield. No. Unknown. Unit upgrade. Uh, that's 90% chance. Max, logical beings governed by programs fall into the trap of gambling due to the absolute predictability they've been owning for too long. He rolls a 10 sided die towards the unit. Unfortunately, it lands on one and nothing really happens. His face turns red due to embarrassment. I don't. It doesn't matter. I have this upgrade thing. The Queen's Crown. When the enemies and this unit's loaded energy points are the same value, remove the unit's corresponding energy. Huh. This is fine. Oh, he's got two of them. They're large. I can't help but notice that. Um. Okay, so with that being the case, we go here. We're going to go here. I think these that fits nicely into there. I think we're moving up. I think we're just throwing this here. Yeah, I don't I don't know what else there was to do there. Oh my gosh. Wait. When the enemies and this unit's loaded energy points are of the same value, remove the unit's corresponding energy. This guy is scaring me. Okay, um, we're probably gonna be moving up. Wanna do this. And I wanna do this. Oh, I should have done something different. That was a mistake. Okay, well, whatever. It's fine, I think. Because we just go here. 
and here. And then we throw that in there. We lose by one on both. That kind of feels bad. But we only actually two. We still have two things over here and he's no longer doing like a super move. Thankfully, I'm going to throw a, like a billion damage into this right now. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense. And then that and then that. And oh, OK, this painter's thing is kind of going insane right now. I'm I'm seeing the power. Uh, are you dead? You're not quite dead, but you're paralyzed. OK. Well, we got out of that one. We took we lost a little bit of fuel, but it's all right. Um, I'm just going to throw these in here and be done with it. Nice, nice. That was horrifying. Um, wow. Kinetic core. When other units are initiated, we're not doing that. When single star is the only kind of attack unit that has loaded energy. I don't. I don't want either of those, honestly. Six vacation days. Unit fuel unknown unknown. OK, I'm going to hit unknown. Enter the shop. The first item you buy is free. Fantastic. Um. Well, let's take this. We have 64. At the start of battle, nearby attack units gain an additional orange slot. That's interesting. When the tri power effect is triggered, generate a white energy. At the start of battle, the attack unit in front gains four power. The attack unit in front gains four power. Huh. And this is if the energy to be loaded is the last one in hand, generate an energy, which is pretty good. Um. I'm just gonna take the emergency light. Let's move on. Take a unit. Um, specify the unit in the above options. Exclusive to Trent. Oh, that's cool. Gain a high voltage amplification core. And try power. Generate one nine and one orange point. Oh, um, oh we, we need an attack unit, I think. Supposed to be able to hover over this part here and see like what uh what exactly it does. But I'm not seeing that on the screen anywhere for some reason. Um gosh. I don't know. This thing's good. I think it's better. I think it's I think this one's better. Try power gains seven strength. I just don't feel like any of these things are better. This one is questionably. It's just that everything we have going on kind of like doesn't allow me space to fill this other stuff in. I think we just got to get through this last one. This one here. And then we'll have our last spot. So we need to break this fragile core. That's very important that we do that. Um, let's do. Let's do this and this. And then this and this. We're going to move up 100%. This thing only takes one, I think, to blow up. I'm going to upgrade both of these, which is going to give us an easy win there, obviously. Obviously. Uh, 
this goes here this can go here and then we just let it rock um oh yeah because it, it he basically takes double damage if that's broken we only have one more fuel though it's not great So we kind of need to save it for when it matters. Interesting. Interesting turn we're going to have here. Let's go like this and like this. And then this, we're like manipulating our stuff right now. And then we generate that. Nice. And then we generate that. And then here and here. And then. Hmm. We could use our last fuel to like. Go absolutely psycho. He's also paralyzed right now. So let's just do that okay this is a win Whew. cutting it close i say um i don't think we really need to do anything special just combine those and put a put a 25 through his face trent girl on the move treasure at the start of battle the attacking at the spaceship center gains two power yep that's the one ship weight limit so the unit in front gains an additional orange and blue slot. Well, we have seven vacation days, so let's hit up the unknown. Oh, this is crazy. Ahead, the crowd is packed, and as you look forward, you realize it's a massive gathering of Lone Star card players. People are proudly showing off their long-collected cards, boasting them to each other. Silently, you take out an SSR character called Geralt the Wolf. An incredibly rare card. Instantly, all eyes are drawn to it, and three players are willing to trade their cherished treasures. So we can get... Um, I love how leave is an option. Just like, no, nah, I'm going to keep my Geralt called... At the start of the second turn, we can get a fuel. When an, when an uh, enemy's durability reaches zero, all attack all the attack units gain a power. It's okay. During a turn, all attack units gain two strength when all energy slots are loaded. Attack units gain two extra strength when loading one point energy. That doesn't help us. At the start of the fourth turn, all attack units get four strength and generate two more energy on odd number turns. Generate two fewer. Ugh, I don't like that one. Um, I think we're supposed to take perfect ring. Weird. Um, we can modification or we can hit up unknown. I guess we take up modification. Select a common unit and add a blue slot to it. Well, by God, I think I will. That's a rare unit. Okay. Well, this seems incredibly powerful. All right. The next fight is the boss fight. We need to add a thing. We can add at the start of battle, the unit front gains one additional orange and blue slot. Um, you know, we could just self destruct this. Go for the big go for the big one right at the start. Shopping can only be used once per time. Start trade. All right. At the start of battle, the unit with the highest overclock. You know, no. 
No, at start of the first turn, all attack units gain two strength. That's what I'm here for. Um, the energy point to be loaded equals the highest point. No. 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 Sure. And then refuel. Um, I'll gain two fuel. Okay. We're ending vacation. We're fighting the boss boss. Order Corleone, boss, leader of the hyena gang. There's things going on here. Oh, after loading an energy, self-destruct. So let's do this. We're going to go here, here, here. And then we're going to put that into that. Um, this is going to go here. <laughs> That's going to go like that. And like that. Um, I don't think this is the time for it. I think we could do better. Let's upgrade. Upgrade. We're taking four down here. I don't like that very much. Let's move up. We win two, we take four, it's just on our shields. I think that's fine. Mr. Billion Lasers over here, the order ship, it's rude. Uh, uh, oh, this is actually gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty okay. 20 Just casual 20 now would be the time i imagine um yep <laughs> who knows what's happened oh my god um all right well we go down, we go down, we go down, then we go right back up and right back up. Then here and here. We're still dying. We're still dying. It's not good. We're taking 44. There we're taking 30. We can do That generates two power, technically. Um, if we move up, is it better? It's still the same, right? Oh, we're going to one. <laughs> we're going to one HP. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, yep, we're at one. But I feel like some things have triggered now. Don't our things have like a lot of power, a lot of extra power, a lot of a lot of juice going on now. But we can't lose any lane also. Twenty two there, we have five there. So this and this and this and this. I think we win on one HP. Is this the craziest thing? Did we just yeah, he's paralyzed. 
I think we got it. He's at 12 HP. There's no way we don't do less than that because we're just going to... We just naturally generate a bunch from this thing. I mean, that's 18 just by itself. And then we actually it's 20. It's 22. And we're going to really just bury him in a minus 77. Get wrecked, Corleone. I am the winner. I am the winner. The legendary bounty hunter, Trent. The meaty meditator gray. Um, we gained two reroll chances, new unlocks, extra star coins. Uh, these are random things you can get at the start. These are like your those random things I was talking about at the beginning of the video that you couldn't previously get. Gain an extra basic shop that you can call for. Upgrade all attack units at the start of the game. Oh, it's interesting. Cool. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot. Oh, my God. This game is sweet. This game is so sweet. You can um, wish list this on Steam right now. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, I do not know the release date off the top of my head. I don't even know if it's out right now. Um, if there is a release date, I'll put it on the screen. But otherwise, it's in the description with the Steam page and whatnot. If you like this video, definitely um, let me know in the comments. Uh, you guys know the drill like comment subscribe all that YouTube stuff. Let me know if you want to see more of this one I greatly enjoy it. There's also um, Some other characters like uh, Buildmaster Alice and repair master dong dong the cat uh, You know, so just be aware if you look on the um, Steam page, there's like 30 different characters. It's kind of wild. So I'm looking forward to this one. Anyways, y'all have a great day Jeff out. See you next time. Bye